Hello, welcome to this FreeCAD 1.0 presentation video for beginners. First of all, FreeCAD version 1.0 is the biggest update since the program's existence. FreeCAD has been around for over 20 years. Before we got to version 1.0, there were four release candidate versions that were for users to test and report problems and bugs to the FreeCAD developers team. Allowing them to fix these problems and then get to version 1.0 that is stable, user-friendly and performant for users. FreeCAD is an open source and free program and it is subject to errors, but a group of developers has worked hard to make FreeCAD better. Before, the program had few features, had several bugs and many people gave up using it because of these problems. But now with the updates it has been receiving, it is getting better and better. You can see this by the number of YouTubers that have been appearing recently talking about FreeCAD. This new stable version already brings significant improvements in relation to its predecessor. For example, when you open the program, this mini window appears. It adds in a way as an advertisement for FreeCAD's internal and external workbench. When the program finally opens, we find ourselves on this homepage. It is much more improved than in the previous version of FreeCAD. Let's take a closer look at its homepage interface. The first thing we find here is the standard menu, which holds basic operations of the program. Next, we find the toolbar area, where the toolbars are docked. Inside the toolbar area, we find the bench selector. Next, we find the tree view that shows the ERC and construction history of objects in the document. Under the tree view, we find the property detail, which allows viewing and modifying properties of the selected objects. Both tree view and property detail are part of the combo view. We have the start screen right here. Inside the start screen, we find a quick way to create new documents. We also find some of the documents recently opened. And further down, we find some examples which we can open and see. This is how the FreeCAD home screen normally looks. And of course, I have made some modifications to it. But that is basically how it looks. In addition to these improvements, there are others as well. FreeCAD now comes with a default assembly workbench with motion simulation capabilities as we can. As you can see, even the logo has changed. A rotation center indicator has been added. We now have selection filters. The appearance of the transform tool dragger has been improved. The light source position can now be set in the preference. There were also improvements to the beam, can draft part, part design, sketcher, tejo, and frame workbench. What makes FreeCAD more practical for 3D modeling for me are the improvements in the part design, schedule, test row, and part workbench. These are the workbench that I use the most. This version of FreeCAD comes with more mods in the part design workbench, the same in the schedule workbench with a new contextual dimensioning tool. The offset command was added, a command for polar transformations was added, and also more geometries in the schedule workbench. It is now possible to copy, cut, and pass sketch geometry with constraints using tip, type code, keyboard shortcuts, I mean Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus X, and Ctrl plus V. All these improvements are listed on the FreeCAD.org page. If you want to check out all the improvements, just go to the page using the link available in the description of this video. In FreeCAD, with the combination of several workbenches, you can create from the simplest to the most complex 3D models. You can create technical drawings of your 3D models. You can also create assemblies of the various parts you want. You can create animations. You can create motion simulations. You can create rendering of your models. And you can even generate cards for CNC machines. In addition to the possibilities I mentioned, it, you can also work with the reverse engineering of 3D models. You can create architectural projects and even work with Python and also analyze finite elements using the FAN workbench. All these possibilities for a free program is a lot, don't you think? Working with FreeCAD is challenging, especially if you are coming from other commercial programs such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, and Inventor. 
But if you are a complete beginner in the CAD world, I believe you will not have much difficult getting used to how FreeCAD works. Projects within FreeCAD are made through workbench. There are internal and external workbench. The internal ones are basically those that come with FreeCAD by default and the external ones are those that normally need to be installed using the add-on manage tool. The part design, sketcher, part and draft workbench are some of the internal workbench. Workbench such as sheet metal, assembly flow and curves and also accessories such as the Pi menu are some of the tools that we can install using the add-on manager. Pascal, to create a 3D model, you need to combine the functionality of several workbench to achieve the final result of your model. This is how FreeCAD works. If you are a beginner in FreeCAD and want to master modeling using this program, one piece of advice I will give you is to look for drawings of 3D models and practice them. You can start from the most basic to the most advanced and that way you will learn by practicing. If you have any questions or difficulties, you can search for them here on YouTube. There will certainly always be a video that can clarify your question. In fact, here on the channel, there is a drink playlist for beginners related to the old Saber version of Ricard version 0.21.2. You can watch these videos and try to run the drink in version 1.0 of Ricard. Or you can use this ebook here which contains more than 50 drinks of the 3d models from this playlist of FreeCAD. or you can also wait for the next videos on the channel in which i will be showing the power of FreeCAD for beginners